Griffin's Location, a series of MATLAB YouTube tutorials. Today we're going back to one I did a few years ago, and that's to get the orthonormal uh, of a projective transformation. Uh, this was done before under a previous version of MATLAB, and now we're doing it under, say, 2015 on. And I just want to say that the source for this is John Loomis there, where the mouse is at the moment. So if we just go down a little bit, uh, there's our checkerboard, and we want to make an orthonormal uh, projection of that. If I go down to the very end, in case you're new to this, something like that. Or if you prefer that, we took out an 11 by 11 square. And that bit is orthonormal. So by orthonormal, there's no projective um, distortion in that red area there. So there's the original image. And we marked out that 11 by 11 area there. And we are taking that to be zero, 0, So what we did was uh, we loaded the image there and uh, there. So we've read in the image and uh, we've created the grayscale and we've made it to double because for double uh, we're able to carry out the projective mats. If we left it, if we didn't change it, it would be u into 8 and it would be integer and then we get massive error. So I commented these numbers here. So just to go down, I used IM pixel, say for there, and then when I went over to the, I think it's there, 11 by 11, I used IM pixel and I recorded the coordinates in pixels. And there's a little comment here. The first figure is the columns, the second figure is the row, and the third figure is the pixel. So using I am pixel, and I, that's the first, that's the second pair, that's the third pair, and that's the fourth pair. So I made a column vector of the columns, and I made a row vector. Sorry, I made a, a column vector of the columns and a column vector of the rows. And if you're new to MATLAB, that little apostrophe uh, is a transpose. So a rotor is a row vector, and then a transpose. So 311, 839, 725, 373. And in here, 563, 549, 339, and 347 are coming from there. And then I gave it some base units, not 11, 11, 11, 11, 0, and 0, 0. In case I'm going too quick. There's not 11, 0, 0. So I think we're ready to go now. So I have to find my areas and I give them my base there. So we get the projective transformation and we're saying the base by 80. So, and we're saying, so each square is 80 units square. You know, it could be millimeters, centimeters, meters, whatever they are. Or we're going with 80 square, and we're getting a projective transformation. So that's TF. To, we display it there, and we'll see it underneath a little bit. So it's a projective 2D, and then here we say tf.t and that'll give me the projective transformation. Here we want to give a visualization so we plot the, co the columns and the rows and we give them a red outline. So there's the red outline there. And then using text, so c1r1 plus 20 not 11 color yellow 
C2, R2, plus 20, 11, 11, color yellow, etc., etc. And there they are. So the points are in yellow. Again, if you're new to MATLAB, hold on. Uh, so we're keeping the current figure. So that one there, we get the reds, hold that, and then we overlay the yellows on top of that, and then hold off and release it. So then what we want to do is we want to save that. So we got we say get frame, then we convert uh, the frame to an image, frame to image, and then we write the file there. Now we want to do the transformation and this is slightly different from the way I did it before. So we're using IM warp, the image with the TF, that'll be the projective transformation. And we get two outputs here. We get the, the transformed image and the IM ref 2D. So the IM ref 2D will give you the coordinates. So you have minus 6,000 to plus 6,000 in X. So that would uh, so that would give you uh, more or less. If I do the maths there, something like so. That's in x, and then in y, it's minus twelve thousand to plus. So it's just giving you. And remember, that's all taken from the zero zero reference point. The image size thirteen six eight four. So and thirteen one two five. So if you add up those numbers the right way, you get that. We're going one unit at a time. The image you sent in world x is 13,000 to dunk and in y 13684, which is there. There's our transformed image. Now, the only thing that I was going to say in focus, that's the wrong word. The only thing that is correct as regards to the projective geometry is where I'm out there. And then the further away from you, you go from that, the bigger the distortion. So remember, it's very hard to explain in 2D, but the camera was sort of oblique and now you're up at a height. And when you're up at a height and the center of the lens is orthonormal to the surface, you get an orthophoto and the orthophoto will be distortion free for that area there. So I wrote, um, the orthophoto to file there. Name I defined up above. So here I'm just getting the boundary of the image. So I'm just saying I'm giving the boundary points there. I'm going to fill it with blue and then I'm going to fill the column and the row. Remember we defined them earlier on with red. So we filled the whole thing with blue, and then the area we are interested in, we filled in red. So that's there. So we, we did that. That's OK. And now we're going to show the simplified image, we're going to chop it a bit. So if I just go down and then I go back to that. So we've chopped it a bit. So, so remember that where I'm going roughly around there is distortion free. Obviously there's a bit of blurriness there from the camera just on the edge, but that's life. So we get our world limits in X and Y. We give it an image size. We warp it using X1 ref. And we get X2 ref. That would be an IM ref 2D type. And then the XF2 would be the actual image itself, which we showed there. And then we write that to file. 
Okay, so I hope that helps. And just once again, just in case the intellectual property uh, belongs to John Looms and it's an excellent website. I hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.